What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Uber Cooled Garage. Uh, on this week's episode, we're going to be continuing carbon stuff, so we'll, uh, we'll get right into it. Hope you guys enjoy. So, I trimmed all the excess off of the door, so now it's pretty much just the skin. Uh, now I'm going to get ready and pull the carbon off of the door. And then we'll get to cleaning it up and doing another coat of resin and getting it all prepped for the next layer. So I got another coat of resin on the canard. Uh, I still have to fine sand it and then it'll get clear coated, but it looks a lot better. Uh, I'm still gonna add two more layers of carbon just because it's still, it's still just a little tiny bit too thin. So I'll add two more in there, strengthen it up, and then the door got trimmed and test fitted. Uh, it still has the actual metal skin on the inside, uh, I'm gonna block sand this and then do another coat of resin and then block sand it again, get it all nice and smooth and straight. But the door holes with the uh, knockout worked out perfect. So it is looking pretty darn good. So give you the full perspective of the car so it's starting to look super good we still have the carbon scoops on the rear so we'll continue working on carbon stuff got the door skin cut off uh, it looks pretty funny with the uh, with no door skin on it but in total I saved shaved about 12.6 pounds off of the door so it's it's a total of 25 pounds off of the car which is a lot more than I was expecting but uh, should help quite a bit so we will start cleaning up the inside of the door, get the actual skin cleaned up and ready for the next layer, and then we'll move on to the next carbon project. I got the door on there. Uh, it is not molded onto the actual door itself, but put the glass in, put the door handle in, everything lines up great. Uh, my door gaps are almost perfect. Uh, this top corner, I'm going to have to do a little something to. It's a, a little too tight, so I will figure that out. I might, uh, might shorten the door right there. I'm not sure yet, but we'll figure that out. So the next thing that I am going to do is... I'm going to fill in this space here, and then I'm going to uh, make a fiberglass mold of this and see if I can get it and make it into carbon. If not, then I will do fiberglass and it'll get painted the same color as the body. So I struggled 
quite a bit trying to figure out a design for the the scoop for the intercooler so this actually looks like it'll work very well the scoop goes over this so it forces all the air into those two ducts and I have one on the other side so I have a total of four three inch ducts that'll run into the intercooler so we'll get to getting this So the scoop is actually turning out pretty well. So you can kind of see it back tucked in there. I like it because it's kind of hidden. You'll never be able to see it. So I probably have one more skim coat of Bondo to go on it. But it's taken really nice shape. Uh, I'm going to make a mold out of this once it's done and then uh, and then I'll cut out the actual scoop that's in there now and we'll get to doing that right now so a second coat of Bondo is on there uh, I will be fine sanding it here pretty quick uh, I am also going to Add in this little scoop here, so then it all directs the air directly into the the two ducts, and then the outside duct will get trimmed to, or that will get trimmed to the size of the outside duct that scoops all the air in. That way, it's nice and sealed, and it'll force all of the air in there. So. That'll work out pretty good. I'm also finishing the bodywork here on this lower section. Get all that cleaned up and straight. And I had one weird small dent in this section. Very, very odd. So finish that stuff off and then this rear quarter will be done. I'll make a mold of that and then cut all of that duct out and make a an actual part out of the mold so this rear quarter is really really close to being done and then we'll move on to the next panel Got the mold pulled out. Uh, it was 
not easy. There's a lot of contours in there and stuff. So there's the part, it fits right in there. Uh, I'm gonna sand all of this stuff off. Uh, I pulled quite a bit of the paint off of the rest of it, which is fine, no big deal. Uh, so I'm gonna smooth this out and then I will throw a skim coat of Bondo on anything that needs it. And then we'll be ready to make the part. So, make that part and then uh, we'll move on to the next piece. Last night's project, I decided not to, not to film it. Uh, just because it was such a small little project, nothing super huge. Uh, I did the glove box door. So I'm going to trim this out real quick, uh, cut the hole, and then I will be making the other side of it. That way it's a full carbon fiber part. Uh, and then epoxying those together. And then I also went through and added two more layers to this. So now it is rock solid, nice and hard. Uh, I gotta punch out the holes and just clean up the edges on this. And then this will be done. All I have to do is fine sand it and clear coat it and that should be it for that. So we'll get to trimming the glove box and trimming this up. to see but the glove box Let's see if I can get there you go uh, glove box fits in there perfect I will uh, sand down the back side now smooth it out and make the back side in carbon and then I'll epoxy them together and I'll show you guys the finished product on that we will uh, sand it down clear coat it the rest of the dash is coming together. Still have a couple more more things to finish off on that and smooth out, but we're getting pretty close to a lot of, you know, everything's starting to really come together and start finishing things up. So move on to the next part. Not sure if I've mentioned it yet, but the next part is going to be a carbon fiber rear quarter panel. So this whole section here, we'll get a carbon fiber skin and it'll get cut off and molded on just like the door. So the whole side of this car is all going carbon fiber.
second layer of carbon is on there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, now everything is all, it's all pressed in, all good to go. Uh, I'm gonna lay another coat of resin, one more coat of carbon, and then I will pull it from the mold and cut the skin off of the door, get that all ready. Uh, and as I'm doing that, I will do the back side of the glove box. I already got it all sanded down, uh, ground down the, the welds, bondoed it, got it all nice and smooth. So this will get carbon as I'm doing the, the final rear quarter panel. And then the glove box will be done. So we're looking pretty good. Got the final layer of resin on there. Uh, let this cure up overnight. And then we will pull it out of the mold. Uh, it turned out really, really nice. I really like the way that came out. Uh, and then afterwards it'll be, you know, fine sand and get it all prepped and ready to uh, get stuck on there. Uh, also got the back of the glove box door done. So let this cure overnight and I'll probably add two more layers on the inside of it just to put a little, little bit more strength in it, but it turned out really nice too. Uh, so that'll get epoxied onto the front of the glove box door. So it'll be one full solid carbon part. So we will continue with this. All right guys, so that's all I have for you this week. Uh, next week's episode, we'll go ahead and pull the, uh, the mold off of the door, the carbon skin off of the rear quarter panel, sorry and uh, get it all cleaned up and ready to go. And then uh, we'll go ahead and cut that rear quarter panel off. And then, uh, then we can continue on with the rest of the car and get everything all prepped and ready. And hopefully it'll go together pretty soon. So we'll uh, see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and I will get back to you. Peace out guys.